Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. Uh, one of the best ways I have found uh, to control roaches uh, in the attic and maybe some other insects as well is with just plain boric acid. And I also believe that this is the less toxic way to deal with this issue as well. And uh, the, I think this boric acid has a pretty good shelf life and it actually lasts a pretty good while after it's been applied to. And the way this works is when they track through this, uh, they lick their legs, I guess, and then that's what does them in. And so the, one of the hardest things about treating an attic is being able to apply the product because uh, most attics are, are kind of hard to access. You're really limited to where you can actually go inside the attic. And so the way I found to distribute this product is I have an old leaf blower that wasn't that great when I got it. So instead of uh, putting it in a yard sale and getting rid of it, I kept it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And you can see how white it is there at the bottom. And pour that into the intake. And that will actually... Uh, dust the entire attic. I mean, it, it, this stuff goes everywhere when you put it in there. And so what I'm going to do is you can look, I've already got an attic excess area cut up there. And so I'm going I'm not going to blow a whole lot up there. It doesn't really take a whole lot of this product to do this, uh, but I am going to primarily try to blow as much as I can uh, toward the soffit areas. Uh, towards these vents and because that's where uh, there's a possibility or more of a likelihood for them to come in even though they're screened uh, they, there's still a possibility that's the access point they would come into and that's another thing you might want to take a look at as well is if you if you have a lot of insects in your attic you need to go out there and look at the vents or if you've got soffit vents or even gable end vents or any venting up there along the roof system, if it's not screened, well, then that's going to uh, allow any kind of uh, pest to come in. And so uh, another thing too you can do as well is try to put as many of these uh, glue boards out. They're relatively inexpensive, and these last a long time up there, and they pretty much uh, catch everything. I mean, so it kind of sort of gives you an idea too of what's, what you have going on in your attic. So in all the places you are able to actually access, I mean, I recommend putting as many of these out as you possibly can. I have literally dozens of these set out all around the house. And I primarily the reason why I use these is uh, for spiders because uh, there's really not any kind of uh, poison I think you can put out for them. And we have these wolf spiders here uh, and they, for some reason, like to come in the house. And if you ever get bit by one of them, I mean, it it puts a good welt on you, at least it, to me it does, and it could take weeks uh, for that to heal. So anyway, I figured I'd share this information with you. Uh, hope it works out for you. Take care, guys.